Hello everyone, welcome to the Mean Gene Show here on KDWN, 720 AM, 101.5 FM, and as promised, it is Friday, May 21st, 2021, getting ready for the NBA playoffs, which will kick off tomorrow, Saturday, May 22nd. I am broadcasting live from the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino, specifically I'm in the sports book, folks, if you hear that noise in the background, that's because things are happening here. And I have a special guest that's going to join me here. We're not even going to wait and mess around with him. This is one of the busiest <laughs> men because he can just dash out of here on me in a minute now. But uh, I would never dash out on you. Because I see you walking around here, Mr. Mr. Prouty. So this is the, the Vice President of Public Relations, otherwise known as the PR guy here at the Westgate Casino, Gordon Prouty. Gordon, welcome to the show. All right. My pleasure. Hey, glad to be here. It's, I'm glad we could uh, make this happen. Thank you for allowing the, the Mean Gene Show to come here at the uh, Westgate. Uh, we wouldn't miss that opportunity. We look forward to having you here and, uh, you know, as often as you want to be here. Hey, and I definitely want to be here. This place here, and I just have to kind of describe this for radio and, and, and the, for, for the folks that be listening to the podcast. I mean, to describe these big screens and what we got going on here right now. Well, you know, we've got over 4,200 square feet of high-density digital screens. We actually just replaced them, enhanced them uh, earlier this year. Okay. And uh, so, you know, arguably the world's largest uh, race and sports book here at the Superbook. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a pretty incredible experience to be in here because the screens are so large and the, the viewing, the way the seats are set up, it's just perfect. But pretty much anything that's, uh, any sports that are going on right now, you're going to be able to see on some of these screens. Okay. And and, and then even last night, it was a little different. Last night, it was, <laughs> last night we had karaoke in the screens, but we, we, we won't go down that road. Wait, wait, wait a minute, because I, hey, we talked right before we went on the air, folks. I, I came in last night, got out of my Uber, and I walked right through the sports book, and I, I saw a young lady singing, I will survive. I don't know if she survived. But <laughs> that, was she quite, was good. It was quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we started a new thing last night at 10 o'clock on Thursday nights called Super Karaoke. Super so karaoke. when people are performing karaoke, we have a little stage in the front, but you're actually on one of the big screens. Right. So uh, it was a good experience. We had did that. she know she was on the big screen here in the oh, sports yeah. book? She oh, did. Yeah. 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 Incredible stuff. I, one of these days, I'm going to get the courage to do that. But I think you have to partake in some beverages. That's make. what I had to do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Gordon, I know this is the time of the year. I know there's a couple of times of the year. Uh, right now you got the PGA tournament going on. But tomorrow, mm -hmm. of course, and the reason why we're here is because it's going to be the 2021 NBA playoffs. And uh, it should be a big event here at the Westgate. It sure will, and uh, you know we're we're looking forward to it. It's been uh, it's been quite a season, and it's uh, there's some interesting matchups in the first round. So uh, we're expecting a really uh, a really fun weekend, and you know obviously the NBA playoffs, and of course here in Vegas, mm -hmm. hockey's a big thing too. So it's going to be a lot of lots going on here. Oh yeah, and let's not forget the uh, Las Vegas Aces, who uh, first mm -hmm. home game is tonight, and I'll be covering that over at the Mandalay Event Center. Yeah, you know the Aces, a uh, little bit of a tough start up there in Seattle, but uh, uh, they'll get things back on track. They got a great team there, and uh, I think we'll be seeing them. They'll make some noise before the season's over. Absolutely, folks. Later on in the second half of the show with uh, Mr. Pigs, we'll be talking about the uh, Aces. I had a chance to talk to Liz Campage yesterday, so it's exciting. I'm looking forward to to catching that game. But I want to talk about uh, what's going on, and uh, before we get to the playoffs, but how did the play-in games work here uh, in Vegas? Uh, you know, a lot of activity, a lot of excitement around the uh, the Lakers uh, mm -hmm. uh, Golden State game. That was yeah. there was a lot going on there. So, good interest in that. And like we talked before, the um, what we get into it with the Lakers. Um, that's going to be, particularly in the first round, one of the biggest handles uh, that we'll see in the first round, and um, actually one of the biggest first round handles that we can remember. Okay. So a lot of excitement for that, and you know, we'll be, uh, you know, I'll be pulling for uh, Golden State. Okay, okay, okay. So let's talk about a little bit, uh, you know, what goes into just deciding who's your favorite here because I have a couple of things here. I, you know, we got the first round series. We got the uh, NBA uh, championship overall winner, the Eastern Conference uh, favorite and Western Conference favorite. What goes into deciding how those numbers are put together for the betting public? You know, that's a team of, uh, you know, I think arguably uh, one of the most professional groups in, in the race and sportbook industry here, you know, led by uh, Jay Cornegay, who's the, the VP of the Superbook Operations, uh, Executive Director John Murray, and that team back there. It's They, they get together and they, they have these discussions. They look at all the research. They look at all the data. And then they come up with uh, with the lines and the odds that you see. 
Okay, so, and we talked about the Lakers, of course, and, mm-hmm. and the Phoenix Suns, which is uh, going to be a first-round matchup here. So what are your expectations, not only as far as betting, but just the public coming here and watching the games? Well, you know, we talked about it. I was telling you before we got on about, uh, you know, we look at it, we've got um, – uh, big liability in the futures on the Lakers and the Nets. And uh, as one of our guys said, you know, I wouldn't feel too bad if the Lakers want to out early. However, the Lakers are a big draw, big handle with that. We, we expect a, a good crowd through the whole playoff series. Um, but obviously the Lakers are a big local favorite, and uh, that always bodes well for us when they're still playing. Absolutely, absolutely, especially when you, you got, you know, the, the Arizona border, the California mm-hmm. border, borders Nevada here. So now we also talked about some of the other things, you know, Looking at the city of Vegas, it appears the city is opening up. Folks are out enjoying themselves. And what are some of the interesting things that the Westgate is going to be doing, uh, not only now uh, with the playoffs, but into the summer? You know, we've got, uh, we're seeing the the bookings are great. We're actually going to be full for Memorial Day weekend. We've got our uh, two of our cabaret shows are up and running, The Magic of Jen Kramer and Solo Motown, every Friday, Saturday night, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday here at the Westgate. A lot of uh, groups coming in. You were saying, we're looking around today, there's yeah. a wrestling competition yeah. going on, and there's also a, a pool tournament going on right. in the uh, in the convention space. So, you know, that and the entertainment and uh, the restaurants are thriving. Lots going on in the casino floor. You know, we had a big winner here yes. uh, earlier this yes. week. Yes, the lady from Idaho. Yes. Indeed. She uh, won. Let's talk about uh, that, because I heard that in, in Texas. One million two hundred fifty three thousand seven hundred one dollars and I think, 59 cents. And what was really cool about that is she, you, you heard about it in Texas. Yes. Well, she and her husband were actually planning a trip to South Padre Island. Okay. That was where they were headed. They okay. looked at the weather forecast and saw all the rain. Right. Made a last-minute decision to come to Vegas, got to Vegas, went down there. She was sitting at that, at that Wheel of Fortune game less than four minutes. And uh, all of a sudden, you know. One point two million dollars. Wheel of Fortune. Now that's the you know because when you come into Vegas through the airport, you leave in Vegas. That's the last thing that you hear in your ear because that those <laughs> games are right there at the uh, at the airport. But oh my goodness! So yeah, did, real did, nice lady too. I had a chance to, to talk to her. Do the honors? No, I wasn't. It was four thirty in the morning. Oh, so I got the honor wow. of a phone call about 4.45. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But uh, I did get a chance to say hello. I ran into her in the lobby, and uh, really, really nice lady. <laughs> what was that phone call at, at 4.30? <laughs> it's like, hey, get the Brinks trucks down there hey, quick. Hey, just want to let you know. <laughs> so we wow. got the word out. And then the fact that it happened here, I'm like, yeah. you got to be kidding me. I, I couldn't wait to get down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to go to that machine right after that, though, right? Uh, yeah, I know. Right. It's, it's going to take a while to replenish. And uh, what about some of the shops you got here? And I know Las Vegas uh, Raider fans that don't live here but come into town. What? How? Uh, how is that shop going? You got to be selling a lot. Yeah, that does pretty well. And we set up a little. So we have a little, um, you know, Raider Nation st- spot uh, down in one of the retail uh, areas. And then on Sundays, game days, and things like that, we have a kiosk that we get set up near. Uh, they had a, the, the Black Hole had a big party here a few weeks oh, ago during the draft. And so we uh, we had a little kiosk and, and sold some merchandise there. So it was it was it was pretty good. They do well. What are you guys anticipating for what is going to be the first uh, uh, year that the Raiders will have a packed stadium and specifically away games? Are you expecting a huge crowd here at the? At the you Westgate? know, we have big crowds here at, at the Westgate of the Superbook. Uh, every season and so we expect that to be even you know even bigger because what we do is we have obviously here in the Superbook and the experience here but on NFL Sundays we open up the International Theater where Elvis performed and we have 1500 seats there and uh, we have all the big screens so people have the viewing parties there and it's 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 pretty cool because you'd have fans from you know people in Vegas until now didn't have a team so everybody kind of wore their they wore their fan gear and all this uh, now, of course, we'll have a lot of Raider fans here, but it's we've had this um, tremendous experience, and this will be, gosh, the 36th NFL season that uh, we've had uh, our, our weekly football and, and be able to celebrate the NFL right here in the Super Bowl because right. it's, uh, it's now been around for 36 years. That's, a, that's amazing, folks. Once again, you're listening to the Mean Gene Show here on KDWN, 720 AM, 101.5 FM. We are broadcasting live from the Sportsbook here at the Westgate Las Vegas Resort Casino. My guest is the man with the plan. This is one of the most popular men in, the, in, in this building. And, uh, you know, people, I see him running from folks because they're trying to chase him down. Mr. Gordon Prouty, the uh, PR guy here at the 
Westgate uh, Resort and Casino. So um, I want to talk about the Golden Knights because, I mean, I, I was here uh, the last time and a nice little crowd here. How has that team uh, benefited the Westgate? You know, whenever they're playing, we get a good crowd here to watch mm -hmm. the game. Now, last night it was, uh, you know, they got off to a little bit of a slow start. I think it was, you know, barely 10 minutes in and they were down by two goals. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, there was a lot of moping. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's it's been a benefit. It's a great experience for the games. Has been you know obviously a lot of handle on that, and and we are uh, very much hoping that they uh, can make the run and finally bring that cup yeah. back to Vegas. I mean, it had to be incredible. Their first year in existence here, mm -hmm. and they they made the Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah. Is that crazy? It was it was amazing. I mean, did did anybody see that coming? No. You know, it was there were there were some nervous people in town around uh, around some of the books because a lot of people put a put a little uh, bet on uh, you know as yeah. a kind of like a almost like a souvenir they wanted to have that ticket right, and right, then right. it was getting a little it was getting a little scary for some folks. I know. <laughs> I mean, they had to have been a huge underdog. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Wow. But it was exciting. It was great, and uh, they got a great team this year. So hopefully they'll uh, they'll bring that cup back to Vegas. And also, let's talk about, I know you had mentioned some of the shows that are coming up and one that uh, I saw the advertising right outside my window on, on the big billboard, the Soul, what is it? The Soul, Soul of Motown. Of Motown. Hey, talk about that. I got to tell you, it's one, of, of course, I'm not very uh, impartial here, but it's, uh, it, it's, it's an incredible show. The, the, the cast are just, there's so much talent there. And uh, they actually have a Soul of Motown show at the uh, Majestic Theater in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Oh, wow. And they brought wow. the show here to Vegas. They're in the cabaret Friday, Saturday, Sundays at 730. And, you know, obviously um, amazing Motown favorites. Uh, but you have to see the choreography, the guys are dancing. Uh, Sean Stewart Godfrey, who is the, the female lead, just blows yeah, you away yeah, with that yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so if you're, you know, whether you're a local or you're coming to Vegas, uh, you, you got to check out that show. Absolutely. I can't wait. And let's talk about the food here because, I, you know, look, I'm trying to, hey, you, you're in good shape. I'm trying to watch it here. You know, we're sitting over here by the Draft Sports Bar. They got good food over there, but you got some places behind us here. Talk about some of these restaurants and what's the crowd favorite here? Yeah, well, obviously here in the in the book with the court, I mean, it's it's all the game day favorites, mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's always popular. But what people don't realize is that uh, TripAdvisor, the TripAdvisor Las Vegas ratings, the top rated steakhouse in Las Vegas is actually here, Ed Steakhouse. Okay. The top rated Italian restaurant in Las Vegas is here, Fresco Italiano, and Ed Steakhouse is actually the top rated restaurant overall. Oh my goodness! And uh, it, they're just uh, incredible food, incredible experience. Um, you know, Edge Steakhouse. We've got a new executive chef, Rory Cow, who is just rocking it back okay. there. Okay. And uh, for me, the best part of the experience, though, at Edge is the bartender. Well, really, Mikey, yeah, you were talking about that. Yeah, he's uh, you. you Okay. I'm not going to say anything other than you come here, you got to go sit at his bar, uh, and if you're a Manhattan drinker, that's what you got to have. Okay, I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. So do you guys ever let Gordon Ramsay come through here, or do you, is he not allowed? <laughs> Everyone's welcome here. Okay. Everyone's welcome here. Well, hey, Gordon, I'll tell you what, man. This has been great, I, I, and I'm going to respect your time because I know you are – you got a lot of things going on here, but this has been wonderful. And once again, thanks for letting us come down here and be Absolutely. part of the, the beginning of the NBA yeah. playoffs. Here. Oh, and it's going to be a great first round. You know, I think uh, it's it, the, the Lakers series will be interesting that they're a favorite over the two seed. Um, you know, I was talking to you earlier. I'm a mm -hmm. big Sixers fan. You're nobody's, right. nobody's talking about the Sixers. They won the Eastern Conference. So uh, oh, we'll, I'm talking about them. <laughs> I will be in the second half of this show because, right. you know, for the longest – you know, they, you know, when uh, Brooklyn put that team together, oh, my goodness, mm -hmm. everyone just said, boom. And I'm sure your, your betting numbers kind of reflect yeah. that, too. These odds do. But, you know, Doc Rivers, uh, very successful coach, uh, was able to get that team together. And I had uh, issues with uh, Joel Embiid. I actually had an Associated Press sports writer on a couple of weeks ago. We talked about the Brooklyn Nets. I mean, I'm sorry, the 76ers. Six six. And uh, do not count them out. No, no. And then, you know, people aren't talking about Utah. No, you know, they after are the probably season the they most, had. Yeah. Well, Utah and Phoenix. So you think yeah. you think Phoenix is, is is being disrespected by being an underdog? Utah is not far behind them if they yeah. have to play uh, with Golden State, right? In the, in the first round. I mean mm -hmm. that 
it you know that could yeah. be interesting. It's going to be a great series. It's going to be is. a great playoffs. I'm, I'm excited for it. I cannot wait. I just went and got some money out of the ATM. <laughs> I can't wait to get up there to the cage and get these bets in. Well, we can't wait for you to do that either. <laughs> I know it. I just want to get get some of that money that the lady got back from Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Proudy, thanks a lot, and we we'll, we look forward to having you back here on the Mean Gene Show here on KDWN 7:20 a.m. 101.5 FM. All right, thanks, Gene. Once again, Gordon Proudy, Vice President of Community and Public Affairs here at the Westgate Resort, Las Vegas Casino here in uh, Las Vegas. And I tell you what, like I said, the guy is very busy, uh, very appreciative of his time stopping by here on the Mean Gene Show on KDWN, 720 AM, 101.5 FM. And uh, just like he said, you know, there are things that are happening here. If you don't like sports, which uh, I mean, most people do. Do, but some folks don't. There are a ton of things going on here at the hotel, uh, in addition to uh, the casino. And can you believe that woman uh, from Idaho uh, won that money? That was incredible. I could not believe it. Like, like I said, I was in Texas when that happened. But she walked out of here with uh, $1.2 million. And uh, just incredible playing the Wheel of Fortune. It's some of those games that most people just wouldn't play, but you hear that freaking thing ringing in your ear all the time if you're at the airport. That's the last thing that you hear before you take out of Vegas is the Wheel of Fortune. But amazing stuff there. But also inside the the hotel uh, in the casino, the Draft Sports Bar Grill Express, which is over to my right. Uh, there's a long line over there right now, but uh, for the most part, uh, they they do move pretty quickly. Ed Steakhouse can't wait to get over there. I hear about this place all the time. They have Benihana, of course. Uh, you can't beat that Ricky Tiki Sushi, and uh, they got the Silk Road Asian Bistro, and of course the Sports Book Bar, the the, the Super Book here. I mean, this bar is loaded, uh, and there appears to be some folks over there getting loaded. So, uh, very very. Very great time to be in Vegas for the start of the NBA playoffs, the PGA tournament going on, baseball, you got hockey, and of course tonight you got the uh, Las Vegas Aces taking on the Sparks from L.A., so it's going to be good. It's the first uh, game for the L.A., uh, I'm sorry, the Las Vegas Aces. They will uh, be welcoming a crowd tonight at the Mandalay Event Sport, uh, Center uh, which is not far from here. Can't wait to get over there. Yesterday, I did have an opportunity to get in on the press conference w with the media, talk with Liz Cambage, and I actually asked Liz, uh, how was it, uh, what was the attitude of the team after getting that big win, finally getting a big win over the Seattle Storm, the team that beat them in the in, uh, WNBA Finals last uh, year. But uh, And she just st said that, hey, they are really pumped up, geeked up for this home opener and just – you know, having a crowd because you remember last year the Las Vegas or the where the WNBA was in the bubble as well as the NBA was in the bubble. The the, the WNBA was in Bradenton, uh, Florida, a, a place that I'm very f uh, familiar with. They used to do a show down there in Bradenton, but anyway, they were down there uh, in that bubble, and and, and Seattle unfortunately uh, got the win over them. But uh, they started out the season losing to the Seattle Storm, but got the win. Bill Lambert, uh, a magnificent coaching job getting them that win. So I'm looking forward to that game tonight as well. Now, another thing, though, here at the sportsbook here at the Westgate Casino here, they have WNBA Futures, so I haven't really seen that, and that's uh, here at the Westgate. It's the 2021 WNBA Championship and odds to win. And right now, the Seattle Storm, the team that won the championship last year is the odds on favorite to repeat again okay followed by the las vegas aces the washington mystiques and the los angeles sparks so this uh home opening against the sparks is important because they are one of those teams that uh, is favorite to to be there in the end when this thing is over with but you can actually come down and and, and bet i mean you can you can bet on who's going to win with the with the wnba so wnba is is all mixed in with the everything that's happening in Vegas. So, of course, I would put my money on the Las Vegas Aces, okay? They are right now a 3-1 to one favorite to win the WNBA championship and a real good team. So, if you get a chance to watch the game tonight, I would do so, and I definitely can't 
wait to get there. So, you know what? We got into the show, folks. We forgot to even tell you who the show was sponsored by. Well, you should always know that the show is brought to you by the Las Vegas Westgate Resort Casino here, uh, specifically the sports book. Okay, the show is also brought to you by Presidential Limousine by Captain. Okay, and I'm looking forward to my limo ride back to the airport as uh, I look forward to my limo ride from the airport. Uh, Sandy, who is my driver. Sandy, if you're listening out there, man, appreciate it. Uh, always give me a tour through the strip. And what's funny, though, uh, because this is a stretch limo. And when people see someone in a limousine, it's amazing. They just automatically think it's someone popular or famous. I would like to think that I'm someone popular. Famous, I don't think so, right? But popular, I, w- I definitely want to be popular uh, as it relates to the job that I do. But folks waving at me and blowing horns as if I was some rapper. And uh, I'm a little bit too damn old to be a rapper. But I guess if I were to get into rapping at this age, it would uh, my name would have to be OG. There's no way. It would have to be OG. What else could it be? It'd have to be OG, right? Okay, so anyway, but it was fun. Um, as always, they take care of me, Presidential Limousine by Captain. You cannot come into Las Vegas, folks, and not get Presidential Limousine by Captain. I mean, you know, rental cars today are extremely high, so your best bet is to get a limousine. Enjoy the experience. I mean, there is nothing like riding up and down the strip of Las Vegas in a limo. Now, normally you see a lot of married couples do that, but you don't have to be. Just get your party of whoever, and uh, they're going to have champagne in that limousine waiting for you, water, you name it. You get to hear some good music in there. and It's just something that you should do. You really should do it. I highly recommend that you do because it's, it's a wonderful experience. And I really thank them for being a part of the Mean Gene Show here on KDWN. We also brought to you by the Las Vegas Aces. I uh, really enjoy the relationship we have with the Las Vegas Aces because yeah, yeah, I have been a huge WNBA fan for years. And the fact that they are in their 25th season, and this is a remarkable season for them it's a remarkable time for them and i really like how the nba players honored that with those nice uh, warm-up t-shirts if you notice in pre-games you might see that uh, again here throughout the playoffs here and uh, it's, it's it's going to be uh, a wonderful thing and speaking of playoffs here in the second half of the show we're going to get all into it as far as the matchups and what's happening and, and and all of that stuff so i do know for a fact there are four games on tap for May 22nd. That's when all of this stuff is going to kick off. So if you're going to bet wherever you are online or if you just happen to be in Las Vegas, you need to get on down to the Westgate and get some bets in. The four games that are going to be played on Saturday, May 22nd, uh, the first round. These are all first-round games. you got the Miami Heat and the Milwaukee Bucks. This is going to be a very, very good series here. Uh, can't wait. And like I say, we'll talk more about it with Mr. Picks on who we think is going to win. How about over in the Western uh, Conference, uh, this matchup here is the Dallas Mavericks and the Los Angeles Clippers. That is also going to be a hell of a matchup there, so you definitely don't want to miss that. Uh, then later on on ABC, and both of those the earlier games I mentioned, Memphis, I'm sorry, not Memphis, that's actually tonight. We're going to talk about that too in that uh, uh, play-in game for the final eighth spot there. But um, the the game tomorrow, the both games tomorrow, the Miami Heat, Milwaukee Bucks, that's an ESPN game, 2 p.m. Eastern time. The Dallas Mavericks Los Angeles Clippers, that is a 4.30 Eastern time game, also on ESPN. And then tomorrow night from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, it will be the Boston Celtics and the Brooklyn Nets. Okay, that's 8 p.m. on ABC. And then in the nightcap. On the West Coast, you got the Portland Trailblazers and the Denver Nuggets. That game will be on ESPN from Denver, Colorado. Should be a uh, very, very good game there. So, and uh, like I say, in the next segment there, we're going to talk about this. Also, folks, don't forget about our uh, contest. Uh, we have not forgot about that that free trip to Vegas that uh, we're giving away here on the Mean Gene Show. All you got to do is follow me on Twitter at Sports Kings, and then you. Uh, or to retweet the contest. Just go right there at Twitter, at Sports Kings, and, uh, and, let, uh, and, and let everybody know, hey, we're going to give away this contest as it runs through 
the rest of the month here in May, then we will choose our winners in June. So we are going to take a break. Uh, we're at the bottom of the hour. When we come back, it will be Mr. Picks. We're going to get all into the NBA Superbook at the Westgate, uh, the Futures, who's going to win the Western Conference, who's going to win the Eastern Conference, who's going to win the whole NBA championship, folks. So stick around. You're listening to The Mean Gene Show. We're broadcasting live from the Westgate Las Vegas Resort Casino Sportsbook here uh, on KDWN, 720 AM, 101.5 FM. <laughs> 